Okay, welcome back, Captain Ron. Here I'm. We're on the the uh, fifth video uh, maneuver for a flight certification for your certificate, and uh, this time we're going to do a simulated emergency landing. Simulated means uh, on a downwind. I will control the throttle as the examiner, pull the throttle back to idle, and then you will have to, you the applicant will have to uh, make a turn, 180 degree turn, and line up with the runway and land, okay, without using the power. Okay, now you must understand that practicing simulated emergency landings is not even close to reality, but we have to do this in the test. In reality, when you're flying at altitude and your engine quits, you not only are startled by the lack of noise, the engine stopped, and the fact that geographically you're in a strange area, the winds may be different, you have to choose a field. Uh, now it's best not, gyroplanes don't glide very far. So if you see a field off the nose of the aircraft, that's the field you want to land in. Don't try to extend your 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 distance of travel to, to land at a, a, a maybe a better looking area to land. So here again, it's totally different. You don't use a checklist, you concentrate on flying the aircraft. Okay, so now we're going to simulate uh, a, an emergency landing. Now we usually go start that at a downwind, okay, and, and I is, is, the examiner will pull the throttle back. I'll do the, I'll control the throttle. And right about here, now, we're at altitude now. I'll throttle back to idle, 2200, in this case, 2200 RPM of the engine. And you will maintain airspeed, bring it around 180 degrees, keep the airspeed up, come down and do the proper flare and land. Hopefully without the use of a throttle. But for safety reasons, I always explain to the applicant, if you need the throttle, use it. Uh, it will not, you will not be, uh, you will not land that aircraft satisfactorily if you have to use power. But anyway, we do that for safety reasons. Uh, okay, now let's go fly that simulated emergency landing. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do the We're gonna do the simulated emergency landing. Uh, really, uh, we're gonna do it on a left downwind, so that that way you can uh, initiate a left turn, 180 degree turn to land. And like I said previously, there's really not a good way to practice a true emergency landing because when it actually happens uh, geographically, you'll be in a different spot. The winds are going to be different. But uh, the FAA, we, we have to simulate something in regards to a simulated emergency landing. So generally, well, the way I do it, the, the applicants up front, I'll take control of the throttle. And, uh, and when we get to a certain spot, I'll pull the throttle back to uh, an idle. Turkey traffic, uh, draw plane simulated emergency landing for one nine. And I'll throttle it back. And the main thing is to, to turn towards the runway. Now, if you can't make the runway, you can actually land on the taxiway. So the main thing is throttle it back, keep your speed up. Don't care where you land on the runway or the taxiway if you have to. But you want to keep your speed up. If it's windy, you want to keep a little extra approach speed. Uh, like I got now, I've got about 70 coming in. And generally this is the best landing the applicant makes. You don't have a lot of power and torque to contend with from the propeller. You just bring it down. Uh, and you, you know, you can't add any throttle. You have to just bring the nose up, do a flare, just do a landing. Okay, thanks for flying with us.